I guess we'll sign off. Make sure you watch to the end of this video because, uh, almost to the end, because something really, really f bad but funny happened. Anyways, you'll see. Guys, the last video I was telling you we were going boondocking. I picked up my son from school, boondocking one night just outside of the east end of Toronto in Whitby, and then we're uh, heading up to uh, the trailer the following day, Friday morning. But right now, I gotta go empty the tanks, one of the funnest things to do. Boomer decided he wanted to come with me to go empty the tanks because he started crying at the door so that's fine he can come with us all right what's your problem the dump station that we go to it's 11 minutes from our house it's uh, city owned so they're all free and the best part of it like I said it's free does it make it easier <laughs> no Boomer, what are you doing come on back here sit with daddy Come on. Boomer, we are here at the RV Waste Drop-Off Center, as they're calling it. This is the city of Mississauga. This is the Public's Work Building. And the dump station is right there. And I gotta get really close to it like I did last time. Boomer, tanks are all empty. We can head home. <laughs> He's happy about that. The only thing worse when you're RVing than the only thing worse at doing RV is uh, worse than emptying tanks is um, actually no, I can't think of anything worse than having to empty the tanks. But it's not as bad. You get used to it. A little bit stinky. You don't like the smell. Wear a mask. But I've been doing it for years, so. Doesn't bother Boomer either, does it, Boomer? Yeah, right. Up ahead there, those, that apartment building, there's actually two of them, identical. They got the nickname the Marilyn and Monroe buildings because of the curves. It looks like uh, one part of the building is wider than the other, but it's actually not. Each floor is exactly the same size, it just rotates as it goes around. Look them up, they're in downtown Mississauga. They're pretty cool to see. Okay, it's Thursday afternoon, just after 5, and the uh, motorhome's all packed up, ready to go, and we're heading out to Whitby. Gotta stop for gas, and then get to the Boondockers Welcome host site, and uh, make some dinner, and wait for Jordan to call me. Ready to go, puppy? It's June I today. Woohoo! Let's go. This is where my son works as a waiter. At Bobby's Hideaway, the most famous breakfast place in Mississauga. Hey, you want to go say hi to Brayden? He'll come out. What's going on? Boomer. There's my son, Brayden. Oh, Look, it's Brayden. Can you come out or no? Yeah, I'll come out once I Okay. Here comes Brayden. Boomer, come. There's Brayden. Oh, he's going to come in the room. Oh, uh, oh hello, oh, Bobby. Oh, hey, Bobby. Going on? We're on our way to Whitby to oh, meet up with George. You going up north? Yeah. You going up north, Cubs? Yeah, yeah. we're going up north after. Right, Daddy? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> busy? Oh, Are you busy? Uh, no, it's kind of slow. Yeah. Cool. Puppy. We gotta go get gas first and then we're headed. Okay. All right. Sure I'll see you. Should I just quit and I'll just sure. come, come here with you? You right now? I dare you. Go quick. Oh, come with us. Oh, I'm gonna shoot. You can go to the store and buy some new clothes. Yeah. All right, bye. Have fun. Yeah. Don't work too hard. I, won't. I know you won't. Use the force, Luke. Ready to go? Got gas. I mean, I got gas for the motorhome, okay? You just sit back there and be careful, right? So we're uh, heading now to. Uh, 
me. Gas is cheap. I got it for, it's 96.9, but I get 10 cents off a liter, so I got it for 86.9 cents a liter. Pretty good. Boomer, where's George? Well, we arrived in King, or Kingston. We've arrived in Whitby. And I went to the Boondockers welcome spot. I had some dinner, watched some Seinfeld, and waited for Jordan to call me, because he was in class till nine. And uh, so I just went and got him, and now he's in Pizza Pizza getting a pizza, because he didn't make dinner. All he did was have a shower. He's got his mask on. Pizza Pizza. The worst pizza ever made. Sorry. If, now, if Pizza and Pizza sends me a free pizza, I'll tell them it's the best pizza ever made. Use the force, Luke. Oh, it's going to be a few walls. Here it comes. Here comes George Boomer. Boomer was so excited to see him, but I didn't get it on video because I was using the washroom. Good morning, puppy. Do you have good sleepies? Of course you did. 8 o'clock, Friday morning. This is where we stayed at a, a boondockers welcome. This is where we stayed last time, a few weeks ago. And we dropped Jordan off for school. So we decided some breakfast. Of course, Jordan's up there sleeping still. <clears throat> but we're gonna get going here in about an hour and head up north to the trailer. You gonna go see your papa? Oh, look at that big, stick that back in your mouth. Thank you. Scooby Dooby. Scooby Dooby. I gotta take you for a walk. Wanna go for a walk? Okay, I'll go for a walk. Okay, we're just at Walmart here. I gotta dump some garbage off. Last night's garbage. And his poo poo bag, right? And as always, whenever you come to Walmart, there are boondockers. That's a huge rig. That's an old wind sport, man. They haven't been around a long time. Very nice. Just stopped along this highway. We are way north of the city of Toronto. And you can see the whole skyline of it from here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Wish Carrie was here to see this. There's a CN Tower, way in the distance. Sorry, a lot of cars coming by here. That's about 40 miles away, approximately. That's pretty cool. This is my hometown of the Newmarket, where I was born and raised. For 23 years, that's when I left. Moved to the city. There was about just over 20,000 people lived here, and now there's uh, over 100,000. Or no, just over 80,000. So, quadrupled in about 40 years. No, not that long. Now that is the hospital I was born in in 1961. Now I guess you'll know my age. <laughs> when I was 14 years old, a kid I went to school with fell down the elevator shaft in that apartment building before it was completed and he survived we are at Fraser Way RV in Cookstown Ontario you've arrived at your destination oh thank you this is the birthplace of our little RV well, it wasn't the first place. It was built in British Columbia, but this is where it came. This is where it was a rental for three years. And then it got uh, purchased after three years. Oh, do not block. This is the Adventurer 4 that they're building now. It's a crew cab truck, diesel. It's got uh, two tip-outs in it, two slides in it. 
One is almost a full length, and one at the back. Want to go in and take a look? Okay. Now this is a really nice thing. It's very it's huge. A rear side door, power steps. Let's go inside. U-shaped dinette. This is the whole slide out. This is a pantry. No, it's a closet. Refrigerator. And then over the cab, which is huge because it's over uh, four chairs. Look at that, isn't that neat? It's got two, it's got uh, over the cab and two beds side by side. And I guess you can put them together if you want a queen or a king. Yeah, that thing lifts off. More closet. Bathroom with a shower, good sized shower. Porcelain, it's the four P's because it looks like a good position. Go on top, and the TV turns right around. And this is like a living room back here, which is the other tip out, other slide out. You turn around, you get the uh, TV on this side. That's a cork board. And a little window there. Yeah, I really like this rig. I think these are about eighty thousand after after they go off rental. I'm gonna find out. I really don't think you need a ladder there, though. I think it's pretty easy to get up here without it. <laughs> it's not that high. What's up here? No oh, more closet space. Solder light. I don't even think this was a rental. Looks too clean. So Fraser Way is RV rentals mostly, and then they sell them after they're not renting them anymore. And there's the new adventures. Those are 24 footers. I want to see if I can find mine, which is only 20 feet or 22. Look at all the adventurers. I just asked that lady where their 19R is. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is one of them. Oh, there, look at that, that's British Columbia. I wonder what year that is then. Yeah, this is one. There's the rear, uh, the rear dinette. But they're all locked, she said. Now, yep, 19RD now. That's what they call the model. Mine's a 200WR. And they're all locked up. Oh, there's some of even a big wind sport. My Thor. Somebody's going camping. They rent all these out, the 20 footer, the 24 footer, and the 30 footer. There's a big Riverstone fifth wheel. Somebody traded in a big fifth wheel for an adventure Class C motorhome. That's a good decision. They're so tiny, like mine. Well, we gotta get back on the road. I'm gonna go in though and ask them if they happen to have the specs on a 2006 anywhere. Because I have no idea what the tank sizes are or anything of mine. Didn't see it in any of the uh, technical information of it, which is really weird. This is their shop back here. I just want to uh, fix them up. What do we got in there? I don't know what year that one is. A nice lady inside told me that this is selling. It's a 2018 and it's going for 119. It's not bad. Canadian. That's about, uh, I don't know, 90, 85, 90,000 US. And he found out my tank sizes for my, my motorhome. So I never had them. The manuals never said anything in them what the sizes were. So that's cool. Let's see if George's up. Jordana? Oh my god, he's still sleeping. Where's Puppy? Boomer, what are you doing? You ready to go? Alright. You don't have to get up. You didn't have to get up. I'm gonna get going on the road again now, okay? This is where your motorhome was uh, rented out for three years before it was bought. It wasn't built here, but they rented it out here 
14 long years ago. Okay, let's take care. There's something you don't see every day. A clear recyclable bin. Because that tells them when it's full. That's pretty cool. Pretty windy, puppy. You gonna sit back here? In the back, you're gonna sit up front with daddy. What's your plan? Take the leash off. Huh? You're gonna sit in your bed? You're gonna sit in your bed? Look, it's Jar. Oh, look who's up. Good morning, Jordan. How was your sleepies? This guy just put his truck in the ditch. And I mean, in the ditch. He must have missed the turn. Judged it wrong. Holy crap. Hopefully, he wasn't towing a trailer. This is a fifth wheel escape. It's all one body type. Don't have to worry about leaks in that thing. The tiniest little fifth wheel. I wish I could show you the side of it, but. I'm driving. In the lane. So Jordan's driving here. He wanted to try it. You having fun? I am so far. Okay. I'm gonna have more when I'm on the road. He's... You're not going on the road. <laughs> not <laughs> yet. He has. He needs more practice in the parking yeah. lot first. Okay. Is that it? You done? Uh, I have to check to see if Boomer's okay. Do a you okay, Boomer? You okay? You Mommy didn't close the closet door and it just flew open. Okay, we're in the parking lot. <laughs> And my tea's sitting here on the counter. Oh my God. Okay, Jordan, slow down. Okay, go slow. We're still recording here. And Jordan's doing fine. Just break slowly. Done. Yeah, just keep a, look, at your eye, look in your left and right mirrors at all times. Okay, now I can uh, walk around and find out. This is weird driving in the back. I don't think I've sat in this yet because nobody else has driven it. Oh yeah, no, Braden did. That was about the only time. Does that mirror really tell me that's safe, alright? No, that's so the, uh, the awning. going on the road part. Like, just stay in the parking lot. Okay, what do you think? Well, Is this what you like back here? Roadway. It's, the okay, it's a cool view at the back, though. There. 